education can play an essential role in enhancing public-private cooperation. Uh, it seems to me one of the Central American challenges is to bridge the gap between what's going on in industry and what's happening uh, inside, for example, the Department of, of Defense or in one of the intelligence uh, agencies. And uh, earlier efforts such as uh, the CIA's InQtel uh, up in Silicon Valley or the Defense Innovation Unit Experimental also located uh, up there have, I, I think, um, not been able to open that door as wide as we would like. And so I think in, in our program, to the extent to which uh, we're able to uh, help bridge that divide between uh, public and private. And, and again, the foundation, I think, plays a, a central role uh, in that. But we also have some enabling regulation that has allowed NPS to do more itself uh, with industry. And, and so this, is, this has been a good thing. I would also suggest we, we talk a lot about in innovation. We also need to talk about imitation. Part of our job as a program is to harvest the edges. What are other folks doing that's innovative? And maybe what we want to do is, is to take some of the best ideas we see out there and uh, adopt them ourselves uh, with perhaps some new wrinkles that, that we add ourselves. Uh, but the story, and that's why uh, uh, applied design, again, is, is part of that new curriculum. If we think like designers, we, we will uh, look at what's out there and uh, maybe uh, emulate designs, uh, maybe build upon uh, uh, another country's uh, design, or maybe by harvesting the edges of those ideas and technologies, we'll figure out how to create counters of our own to those technologies. Uh, for example, to the, to the hypersonic missiles that the Chinese are developing. That's a major design challenge to protect our uh, principal surface ships in, in the US Navy. And so that's one of those areas in which our strategic design program is, is thinking. And, and again, not just in terms of technology, but maybe the way we organize our surface uh, fleet units is going to change a little bit and maybe their operating concepts will have to change because of these technological ad advances. So uh, the advantage that countries like China uh, or even Russia have over us is they can make a central decision. In China, they decided a couple decades ago to begin emphasizing artificial intelligence. They turn all their efforts to that. Uh, they understood cybersecurity was very important. They invested tremendously uh, in that. And when they make a decision in Beijing, their so-called private sector falls right into place with that effort. Uh, much different in, in our system. The market usually determines what people are researching, developing, what does the consumer want? And as a consumer, the Defense Department has some ability to uh, direct this, uh, but it's not nearly as seamless as it is in other societies. So even though we, we know that market economies are far more efficient than centrally planned ones, when it comes to strategic technologies, the more authoritarian, even totalitarian societies have a bit of an edge over us. Over.